Peace, peace, Akili Damone Height. And today I wanted to continue the conversation regarding how to create your own superhero. And the reason I wanted to have this conversation and really generate some momentum around this topic is because we all have an idea of what we think a superhero is supposed to be. And that idea exists within us. It's a vision that we have, really an aspirational goal, possibly, that we have of the perfect human. Whether we believe that that person is an advanced version of ourselves or the most effective version of ourselves, a person who protects others from injustice, protects the weak, people who can't fight for themselves, whether that person has special abilities like flight, uh, the ability to walk through solid objects, uh, very advanced genetic abilities, which is what usually superheroes have, but they don't necessarily have to have those abilities. Usually superheroes are created based on the circumstance of the creator. So, for example, I created my superhero because I, as a black man, have gone through things that many people would have folded. And I tried to turn it around to make me stronger. And so far, I'm still here. I tried to use all the negativity, all the hatred that I've experienced and turn that around into something positive, which is what I refer to as spiritual alchemy. So that's why I created my superhero. But what really caught my attention uh, and it made me feel, it made me think that, oh, maybe the rest of the world needs to look into creating their own superhero is because I recently uploaded a series of cartoons, vintage cartoons, the original superhero, excuse me, the original Superman, because he's not the original superhero, I don't believe. I think there was Flash Gordon prior to him, and there were probably some other superheroes that are really well known uh, in the cultural uh, backdrop here, but the original Superman animation series. And I will post that link in the description, but it went viral. And, you know, I'm used to getting like 10, 20 views if I'm lucky. Uh, I think my first video that I posted back in 2019, so that's about five years ago, it took five years for that to get like 200 views. So obviously I wasn't posting on a regular basis, but when I say viral, I'm talking about within three days, I have 40,000 views. So that got me thinking, why, 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 why did I get 40,000 views and counting? I think it's probably at 50,000 right about now. 
And then I realized, well, well, I mean, people obviously like cartoons. It brings nostalgia to them. A lot of people like Super Superman because he's probably the most uh, famous of the superheroes. But there's, there's something about a superhero that taps into the human psyche, the human soul. And I wanted to explore that a little bit more. So that's why I wanted to start a conversation. How can you create your own superhero? So a superhero doesn't necessarily have to have superpowers. So for example, Batman, he's just a regular person. He's a billionaire, but he's more of a vigilante. <laughs> He has special training, he has a heart, and he wants to bring justice in an unjust or an unjust world. All superheroes, they have a backstory, and that's the very first thing that I talked about in my previous video, my first video of this topic. And that backstory for Batman is that both his parents were murdered when he was a child, right in front of him. And from that point, he became a vigilante and it became his vendetta, I would say. He had a vendetta to fight crime. It became his driving motivation. It became his why. That's why backstories are so important. And usually superheroes, something tragic or something bad happened to them. If we talk about Superman, he's from the planet Krypton, but he's basically, an, well, he is an orphan. So he grew up not knowing his parents, but he had to discover his origins. And he is also, he lives as a regular person. He lives a double life because he assumes the mild mannered character of Clark Kent just to show that we don't really know who it is that we're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis. We may think they're just a regular person, but they may have superhuman qualities. Obviously, he's the man of steel. He can fly. Originally, that was he was able to leap buildings in a single bound. But they originally realized that, huh, we might as well just say that he can fly. Because that's kind of silly. What's the purpose of just leaping over buildings? So they evolved that into flight. But as we know, his only weakness is kryptonite. Superman and all superheroes, they have origins in ancient mythology. In his case, he had attributes of Hercules, that superhuman strength, as well as Samson. And then Samson's kryptonite was the fact that once he cut his hair or once his hair was cut, he no longer had that strength. Superman also has origins in biblical stories similar. So, so for example, <clears throat> the story of Moses, who was set, pretty much put in a, what is that, a crib? Basically, he was put in a container and floated down the Nile and the Pharaoh's daughter discovered him and raised her, or excuse me, raised him as her own. And he was raised basically as the Pharaoh's grandson. So he didn't know his parents. He had humble beginnings. 
My favorite superhero growing up was the Green Lantern, which is probably why I chose the color green for Lucid. And one thing about the Green Lantern is that with that ring and the lantern, he can do anything. So he, not only could he fly, he can control things with his mind. He was pretty much, in my opinion, the most powerful superhero of all. Of all. I mean, he did have a dependency on that ring, which is also why I gave Evan in my story the crystal. So as you can see, I'm wearing my Lucid shirt and Evan is holding, where is it? A crystal in his hand. And so I talk a lot about the significance of that quartz crystal. So really, I just want to end with this. During hard times is when superhumans are made. These superhumans can be physically a superhuman, meaning being stronger than everyone around them, or they can be the most resilient person that you will ever meet. Going back to Superman, he was created during a time of the Great Depression where people needed hope. So that's what Superman, the character, he was born out of that sense of despair, despair and hopelessness. And his creators created him as a symbol of hope. It not only gave them hope, it gave the people that eventually became his fans hope. So during these times where things are uncertain, just reach within yourselves and just start kind of pondering on some of the qualities that you would use to create your own superhero. Because the theme of lucid futurism is to be the architect of your own reality, to be the author of your own book. So keep that in mind. And always look at the best possible way. Look at the best possible future because you are the creator of your own future, whether you know it or not. So with that in mind, stay curious, stay inspired, in spite of everything that's going around, going on around you, stay motivated because your motivation, your inspiration really should come from within. Forget what's going on out there. Stay humbled because going back to the Superman example, as Clark Kent, he's humbled. He's presenting himself to the world as this mild-mannered goofball, really. But in reality, he can destroy everybody in his way, but he chooses not to. Stay disciplined. And above all, stay lucid. Peace out.